Hey, this video is the truth about Shirley. You made pants and I made problems. Hi, what's up? I'm Caroline Addo Justin for Shorts Carodella and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to spice things up a little bit. Please, let me introduce myself for those who are new to my channel. I am Caroline Adeljusu, a 19-year-old YouTuber. Wait, I'm gonna be 20 years old in like three months. I'm getting old. Okay, I've lived in Sierra Leone all my life. I'm a YouTuber, as I said. I do Sierra Leone-based videos. I do vlogs, office tours, house tours, ranking videos, jet ski rides. What else? Restaurant videos, eating videos, beach videos anything you can just scroll through my channel and see all the videos I've done and you'll just like it and yes please don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you have just clicked on this video what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button right now what are you waiting for yeah I'm waiting for you have you clicked on it thank you so guys to further this video i'm going to start with the advantages and the disadvantages of living in sierra leone so i'm gonna start with the disadvantages and then later go to the advantages because i don't want this video to be a tragedy do you get note this is a disclaimer i'm not condemning the country or i am not criticizing the country i live in this country i love this country i do vlogs in this country i do everything in this country i school in this country i do everything in this country why should i discriminate the country Seriously, what the f- Disadvantage number one of living in Sierra Leone Politics minded Sierra Leone people like politics Sierra Leoneans literally hate each other, fight each other, bash each other Just because of politics I don't, I don't really want to say that So, people in Sierra Leone like politics This is one of the things I have really noticed in this country People bash each other because of politics like, you have to understand that everybody is, should not be one-sided. Like, people should not be in one thing. Like, there should, there should be options in life. Just, if, for example, if I'm supporting Manchester United and then my friend is supporting Chelsea. And should I hate my friend because she's supporting Chelsea and I'm supporting Manchester United? Does it make any sense? No. You should not hate each other just because of that. It doesn't actually make any sense. So, one of the things I really don't like about Sierra Leone is like we are very politics-minded. This advantage number two cat calling if you don't know what cat calling is this is the real definition of cat calling it's to work she has to deal with guys like this two wild and crazy guys nah i'm just kidding how you doing good nice dress you look beautiful every girl in Sierra Leone knows what this is what what why do you have to call me when i'm walking in the street minding my business i don't get it I don't really don't I really hate this. I don't know for other girls, but this is like so irritating. Literally be the ones always saying, ah, you bobody, sa, you bobody ba, you bobody, you bobody. And then boom, they see a girl walk by and be like, sister, one minute. Like, I don't really get it. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to stop and, 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 and look at you and talk to you? What do you want to tell me? Do you have money to give me? I don't really understand. Do I know you? Do you know me? Why should I not just walk in the street in peace and mind my business? And when you don't turn around, they give you insulting words like, eh, if you say fine, bah. Like, why? That is why I have my superpower here, guys. This is headphones. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm walking in the streets, I always put this on and loud and put my music on and then boom, on loud mode. I really want to ignore these people in the streets. Why should I walk in the streets and, and not have peace? It's harassment. This is harassment. I feel like the president should watch this video and totally t cancel these guys doing these things in the street. Like, your girls here are suffering. Seriously, what the f- It's not decent. And most of the people who call girls in the street, they're not actually that attractive. <laughs> you know, most of these people, they're not attractive. And then they want people to turn around and look at them like, Hey, um, hi boy, how you doing? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, why am I even walking closer to you? Do you get uh, sister one minute? Like give me one minute. What, what's the one minute for? Do you have money for me? Why is it necessary? What if I'm urgent? I just see it as a whole waste of time. Disadvantage number three. Opportunities are scarce in this country. Yes. 
There are people with degrees that don't have jobs. Like, this is one of the things I'm scared of for myself because I really don't want to be jobless at the end of the day because I'll just end up doing YouTube. Like, do you get, like, there's so many smart people out there. They have a degree, but they don't have no job. I feel like one of the main reasons why this is happening, I, let me just give you one reason. You just, just one. Old people in this country don't want to retire. So I feel like this is the reason why um, they don't want to give space to the younger generation to come in. Like, this is one of the reasons. Don't come for me. This is what I just think. It's out of my opinion. I feel like old people should retire and give chance to the younger generation to come work. Give space for them. I don't get it. Like there's so many graduates out there who are desperate for jobs and they come from good homes and they don't have jobs. I feel like it's not only in Sierra Leone that people don't have jobs. I feel like um, people also in other parts of Africa, they suffer from this too. I don't know, um, youths that are jobless. One day Africa will rise again. Believe you me. Disadvantage number four, stealing. Stealing. For example, like, like this is not just in Africa. This is not just in Sierra Leone, okay? It's general in Africa. For example, take a look at this picture. It's Justin Bieber. Literally, this is how Justin Bieber holds his phone, people. This is how he holds his phone in America. This is how Justin Bieber holds his phone in America. You cannot come to this country and hold your phone like that. They'll steal your phone, okay? When you're coming in this country, for example, this is my bag. If I'm walking in the streets of Freetown, I should hold my bag like this. This, I feel like this country teaches you how to be very responsible and hold your gadgets very properly. You cannot come to Sierra Leone and hold your bag like this. Like, you're really crazy. We call, okay, newly arrived immigrants who are from America and Europe. In this country, we call them JC. I feel like they steal most of them all the time in December. In December, most of these immigrants come in to have holidays, vacations, and whatsoever, and then boom. They just don't know how to hold their stuff. Stealing is something very common in this country. Um, you know, the economy and the poverty rate is high in Africa. So there are so many people lacking. And then you have a property and you don't want to look, you don't want to look after it. And so you don't want that. You don't really want that. So you have to hold your stuff tight, okay? When you're coming to Sierra Leone, get it straight. Disadvantage, the other disadvantage in Sierra Leone is witchcraft. Oh my god, witchcraft. <laughs> witchcraft is in a rise. Now, witchcraft is not only in Sierra Leone. Guys, we are watching Nigerian movies all the time, African movies. We are seeing these things in these movies. It exists. Like, there are people who actually think that witchcraft don't exist. But in my opinion, I think witchcraft exists. You know, there are different types of witchcraft. You have the witchcraft wherein it's you don't have to be a witch to practice it. You can literally look look at someone rising and you're like, I need to sabotage this person. This person is not supposed to rise and I am like this. Like, why don't you just apply the same hard work like that person so you yourself can rise? Envy that person. That is also a form of witchcraft. I feel like there are so many people like that in Sierra Leone. I don't know, it's from my experience from living in this country. I feel like there's so many people like that in Sierra Leone who literally look down on other people and try to sabotage them because of their success. It's really a bad thing. It's really a disadvantage and I feel like it needs to be tough. You should stop. Like, it's not gonna solve your problem. Sabotaging someone because of success is gonna make you end up in your grave. Like, it's not helping. Like, even if you have that success, it's just for a short period of time. Literally. Now we're moving on to the advantages in Sierra Leone. So as I said in the start of this video, I am not just going to say bad things. I'm also going to say good things about this country because in every situation, there's good and bad. Advantage number one, we have beautiful places. Sierra Leone have many beautiful places. We literally have so many beautiful places now compared to the 1990s. Sierra Leone has upgraded. Sierra Leone is like this right now. Sierra Leone was like this, but now it's like this. Advantage is number two. We have so many places to hang out and even get a vacation there. For example, Banana Island, Tokyo Beach, number two beach. 
you name them so many places to hang out when it comes to beautiful places for example we have the place we have radisson blue we have bintamani hotel okay that's for the rich people i'm talking about like if you're mediocre you can go to number two beach you can literally hang out in laka beach you can go to not only the beaches you have restaurants also you should go to the provinces like kent village all these places exist there's so much adventure in this place compared to before that's what i'm saying yeah advantage number three sierra Leone has many shops stores supermarkets compared to before like literally sierra Leone has so many supermarkets shops right now stores different places that you can literally go and buy stuff like we have so many shops and stores i don't know we have city supermarket um, choi tram supermarket we have freetown mall st mary's all these places they are available and are open 24 hours advantage is number four we have hard working people certain and people are hard working this is what i've realized in sierra leone like literally you um wake up in the morning around seven o'clock and go to town you can see everybody is busy as you go to around town like around town like left bush street pz um Ekoa street you see like people are really busy like sometimes i really admire like wow people are really hard working here like you have everybody busy parking and some other people busy going to work some people um unpacking their business and all of that shit so we, li we literally legit have hard working people here like that's what i really noticed really hard working it's just that they don't have the credit that they should deserve but i feel like sierra Leone people are so hard working advantages number five we have good roads we have good roads now compared to before like i'm not just saying um this because i want to sugarcoat the video no hillcut road we have hillcut road it's a newly constructed road five years ago hillcut road was dust it was dust Courtright Road, Courtright Road five or six years ago or seven years ago, it was fully dust. All of these roads have been constructed and these roads are straight and sleek. Guys, you can actually enjoy driving in this country now compared to before. Before we had so many potholes and all of that shit. But now we have good roads, we have Hillcut Road, we have Juba Bridge. All these places, all these roads have been constructed. I feel like they're, um, they're, I saw that they're also constructing tree planting road right now. Like the current government is really driving it's really working hard I feel like there's so many hard-working people in this country that's a very good thing also advantages number six or five I don't know we have many minerals many many minerals many minerals we have gold diamond rutile bauxite name every like we really have many minerals like we can literally open a whole mineral company honestly speaking we have so many minerals last but not the least we have talented people like if you search on google you literally will realize that we have high iq in west africa like west africa Sierra Leone, and people are very smart and then we have really talented people here we have sketchers drawers we have dancers we have like there's so many people that have talent but they're being slept on in this country but like it's not like it's we're in nigeria because nigeria they brand their talents very fast and i just hope we have that opportunity that nigeria has to brand their talents very fast i mean like sierra Leone and people have so many talent thank you guys for watching this video give this video a thumbs up like subscribe click on the notification bell let me know what you think in the comment section and don't come bashing me because i said that i was gonna spill the truth on this video and that is exactly what i did so don't come bashing me all i said was the truth anyways thank you guys for watching this video i just want you guys to subscribe and i'm gonna drop the bloopers most definitely anyways thanks guys for watching i love you and have fun